I decided today we're going to do back to back electronic palette videos last Saturday and today on Tuesday. But today is actually a little bit of a different one. It's actually only one box. So what I did was I actually bought a lower value uh, liquidation and it actually all came in one liquidation box. So hopefully it's a good one, but the total manufactured suggested retail price for this box, all the contents, if they were brand new, but they won't be because it's Amazon customer returns. Some will be Amazon warehouse damaged and some hopefully fingers crossed will just be overstock brand new and package. But the full price is $976.21. So I mean, it's just shy of a thousand bucks, which still is a pretty good price point. But what I paid, even the lower price point, electronics are going for decent prices right now because it's Christmas time. But I just wanted to try a lower price point box just to, to show everybody, you know, just because it's a lower price point, maybe there's still some good stuff in it. But anyway, what I paid, $217.14. So, I mean, it, yeah, we're, we're reaching the 20% point right now for electronic liquidations. Ooh, I'll be uh, kind of thankful whenever Christmas is over with in terms of a liquidator, because this time of year, it gets expensive for liquidator. <clears throat> but um, everything in this box is supposed to be, it's supposed to be electronics. But if you watch this channel, you know sometimes this box could have stuff for pets in it, or it could have, it could have dog food in here. I hope not, not for what I paid. But um, normally though, if it's not Christmas season, if it's just the middle of March, this $1,000 box, you can probably usually get for about 125 to 150 bucks. So even if you wanted to get some cheaper, lower end electronic pallets box, you can. So what I'm showing you guys, a little bit cheaper liquidation, pallet that came in one box and just let's see what I can get so hopefully it's good here we go this box was shedding so I usually don't do back-to-back electronics just because the price point I have to pay for them but I was <laughs> I should say I was able I uh, bought three pallets of electronics so I'll be doing one last Saturday today Tuesday and again probably this Saturday Is that all the paper yeah so see in this box uh, stuff pretty full uh, there's some vinyl right on top actually there's some records there's probably like what three four maybe I can't remember how many items were supposed to be in this thing. I think it was like 30 or something like that. 35, 30, something like that. Let's actually, let's not do these records first. Let's do some other items first. How's that sound? Let's say the records for a little bit longer since those are my favorite things to actually do. So, let's get going. How's that sound? First thing we've got a Philips. Wake up with light, feeling more refreshed. We've got these things on this channel a few times now. It is not factory sealed. Everything that you see me go through here, I sell on many platforms like eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, my resale shop, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. Any place I can turn a buck, I will list it on that platform. Looks used, I'll have to try this thing out to make sure it works. Uh, I think this thing sells like, what is it, like 20 bucks or so in used condition, I think, I think it sounds right. That might've been new condition. It's like 20-ish. I'll update, I'll date, blah, 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 can't talk. I will update below like how much it actually sells for during the editing process of the video. I do a little bit of research on these items to make sure I'm not like quoting way off on things because sometimes I do, you know? So, doesn't, I mean, it really didn't look that bad, this whole thing. It looks, looks pretty clean. What's this? 
Uh, hey, <laughs> there's always going to be some junk in your boxes. That's for sure. This one is a Source One. Oh, it just holds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. No. Yeah. So you put, okay, yeah. Brain thinking, you put your papers in here, and it basically just holds your paper, and it, you know, you, you know what I'm trying to say, I just can't get the words out. Something like this, probably, actually this top one's cracked. Honestly, I'll probably go into like my, dollar piece for these back two. Actually, I'll probably price this entire thing at two bucks. Let's just get through that, put that one down, because that's kind of, you know, eh, nothing great. Let me go ahead and pull out this huge thing that's covered in duct tape. Okay. Well, kind of duct tape. Oh, now I guess I should show it to you. Uh, let's see, we have Phillips. Some, some Neo, whatever this thing is. If your name is, I'm not sure if I showed the return label by accident. If, if I did, I'll have to make sure and go back and cut that out. But uh, if your name is Aaron Fagan, if you live in Maryland, I got your return. So, uh, that's still taped. Give me a second. Oh my goodness. He used like freaking... Marvel superhero duct tape. What is this? It looks nice. What did you return, Aaron? It's still factory packaged. The end cord of it is still factory taped up. Woo, this does look kind of spiffy. The cords are underneath of it, the charging cord or the power cord, instructions. That looks, maybe has a little bit of value to it. Let me look this thing up real quick. I'm going to be right back. Gotta make sure I don't show, hold on. I'm afraid I'm gonna show his actual home address. Let me just mark this thing out real quick. And his phone number too. Yeah, whenever you return stuff on Amazon, and whenever you ship stuff back, if you don't use a shipping box, if you just like what Aaron did, he just threw the uh, shipping label onto the box itself and he just shipped it back, Amazon does not take off your labels. So your home phone number, your shipping address, everything will go to liquidation. So a liquidator like me now, I've got your home address, I've got your phone number. So a dirty liquidator could actually call you up like, I mean, technically if I wanted to, I could call you up right now and be like, hey, Aaron, I got your item in a return and I just want to call you and say, hey, why did you return this and does it work? I mean, like I technically, I could do that. And I mean, that'd be very, very crappy of me to do that. I would never do that ever because that's, you know, an invasion of privacy. But uh, just a little tip for people, never put your return label onto the packaging like this and then just, just ship it back because your phone number, your address then is advertised to who knows how many people are going to get it and a liquidator who's not as honest as me they might just call you up and ask you why'd you return this and does it work seriously it's probably happened anyway let me look this thing up i'll be right back whoa this thing's expensive this thing sells i'm just checked on uh ebay uh because that was pulled up first before amazon it sells new on eBay for $130. What is this thing? Sleep and wake up light, relax. So it's kind of like the same thing as this Philips, as this one, but this, this one is just much more expensive, it looks like. A lot more expensive. But sells for $130 new, and I'm seeing people right now on eBay within the past week, they're selling it used for uh, like around 100 bucks used. Really? Wow. Okay. That's awesome. So, of course, I will try this thing out, make sure it works. And if it works, I mean, I'll try to get 100 bucks for this Samil light. So, anyway, and everybody out there, 
take my tip to heart. Do not compromise your personal information, your phone number, by putting your return labels like what this guy did onto his actual packaging and ship it back like that. Because now, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, next, what we got? Oh, let's see, I've got, I think my house is full now, but I've been keeping all of these because I want one of these wireless chargers in every single one of my room in my entire house to charge my phones or our phones up, my wife and I. I think every room in our house has one now. So I might be starting to sell these finally because I didn't want to sell them until I had one for the whole house because why sell them when I needed some, you know what I'm saying? But I think these sell for like, what, was like 20 bucks or so, but I think I can actually start selling them. So this one will probably be for sale now for about 20 bucks. Cool, cool. Let's do one vinyl. How's that sound? One vinyl record, the top one. And I've gotten this one before. Yeah. That fiery car does look familiar. Oh, yeah, I sold it to a subscriber maybe a month or two ago. What was the artist's name? Oh, there it is. Portugal the Man. The vinyl record's uh, title is Woodstock. Portugal the Man. Let me see what the condition looks like. Oh, it has a little bit of... Uh, the inner thing's a little bit torn right there. Where's the opening? There it is, duh. Record's in good shape. Yeah, Portugal the Man. I've had this thing at least one time before, maybe twice. So if you want this, if you want Portugal the Man, $15 shipped, email me, hit me up. It can be yours. Let's see. So there's two more records. There might be some more on the very bottom of this box, I can't tell yet, but there's at least two more on top. And then we've got an iPhone cord. I keep all these. And then, let's see. We've got an Asus Zonar DG Gaming Series sound card. Man, I hate getting these things because I don't like selling these things because I don't know how to test these things out to know if these things work or not. And I usually sell these things on uh, eBay as usually as used like for parts, you know, like not working for parts. And I usually say in the description, you know, this item is not tested. I don't know if it's functional. I'm selling this thing as four parts not working, but it might actually work just fine. So, you know, I, I sell it like that, that I'm telling the buyer that this thing actually might work completely fine. I don't know. And it always goes for less than what it should, but I don't want to sell something and then uh, have the buyer come back and be mad because it doesn't work. So, uh, how much does this thing sell for? Probably like what, maybe 30 bucks or so? Probably not a whole lot. Run that range, I bet. Let's see what we got here. We got a USB 3.1 Type-C to VGA adapter black. Huh. I don't need this kind of adapter, so I will be selling this thing by like, like five bucks or so in that range. I don't need that adapter. I usually keep stuff like that, but I don't need that. We have a pen. This is actually, or pencil. This is one of those expensive ones too. The, the brand is right in the rain. This is a more of an expensive brand because it actually works in the rain, in the weather. You can actually use this, but you have to use paper though that you can write in the rain with the pen that you can write in the rain. This pilot, like, I bet you five to 10 bucks or so for this pencil. It's probably not cheap. Let's see. Cool. I've got a Phillips Norelco. See, is it new? I think something fell out of the box. I'm not sure if you heard that when I opened it up. I think I heard something fall out. I could be going crazy though, but I think I heard something. I'm gonna have to keep my eye out for something because the back of the packaging is missing and I think I heard something fall. It was, I don't know. Anyway, Phillips Norelco. I don't see any hair on the blades. 
has all the extensions. So it looks like it's new. It's just the bag came off of it. So I bet you this is probably like what, like 25 bucks or so? Not bad. And then we've got more like health and beauty stuff. This is unusual. I mean, it is electronics because it plugs in. So I mean, technically it is electronics. But it is health and beauty though too. Okay, it is just, it's a brush that plugs in. I guess it heats up. It's a hot brush flat iron. I don't know much about this. This is more my wife's expertise. I always have her help me with the youth, the health and beauty palettes because I don't know prices on this stuff. I have no clue. She's better at pricing this stuff than me because I don't normally resell this stuff. And I actually just buy some health and beauty palettes from time to time because viewers want to see health and beauty. And so I buy them, you know, once every couple weeks just you know, viewers want to see it, so so I buy them. But I'll, I'll look this up during the editing phase. I'll update below how much this thing sells for. I got no clue. I'm sure it's probably maybe like 30, 40, 50 bucks maybe. Essentials Audio Adapter. Off-brand something or other. Oh, looks like it's just an aux cord port to a uh, USB like 3.1 or whatever it's called port. I don't need this port either whatsoever. I don't need this kind of adapter, so I'll sell this one also. Probably about five bucks or so, I'm guessing. I don't I don't need that one. Let me just do another vinyl record. How's that sound? Huh, <laughs> Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys. Probably about another $15 shipped vinyl record. It's in good shape. Yeah, you want Pet Shop Boys, hit me up. Cool graphics on this thing. Awesome. Not a Pet Shop Boys fan, but if you are, I can hook you up with this cool vinyl record. Pet Shop Boys, I got you. Let's see, dig down a little bit deeper in this box. We've got an Omar, no, D-Max armored tempered glass thing. It's probably not in here, I bet. Maybe, maybe, oh, is it? Holy crap, it is in here. Oh, no, they've already used it. That's just typical return scam. They use the glass and they return the packaging and you know, like the film that goes on the glass, they, <laughs> they return the film. So that's more trash. Well, we got reinforcement labels, Avery. They're in some more junk. Looks brand new though. Okay, it's on the floor. It's down there underneath of the camera tripod. But I'm gonna say about five bucks on that. Whatever it was, if you got a, a glimpse of it on camera, it was some kind of a, like a Avery label thing. Somewhere down there, I don't know. It's in the abyss. The abyss claimed it. That's all I know. Let's see, we got a hard carrying case for a five inch GPS. Well, that's kind of nifty. I can probably actually use this for something else that's not a GPS. Huh. I don't know, I might have to keep that. I might be able to use that for something, but if not, I'm sure it's probably about $10 or so. A hard carrying case for a GPS. You could use that for some kind of like a small point and shoot camera. You could use that to probably carry around a, you know, a yay big external hard drive. You could use that for several things as a hard carrying case for several things. It says it's for a five inch GPS, but it could be used for a lot of items as a, as like a, as a, a protective case. It might even fit, I think it would, the little NES Classic. I think it would even fit it. I think it would fit that. I don't know. Oh, we got another Samsung Galaxy wireless charging pad. This one is not factory sealed. This one's opened. Doesn't look used though. See, but my house, I'm pretty sure, well, since I've got, where's the other one go? Oh, it's right there, duh. Yeah, I know for sure I don't need two more. 
I might need like one, maybe in like a bathroom upstairs or something. <laughs> so, um, more than likely, one of these will be for sale. I think they both sell for about the same price point. This one's probably gonna be also about probably about twenty dollars, I bet. So either both or one of those will be for sale. So if somebody wants one of those, hit me up. We've got a Fuji Film Instamax Wide 300. This is one of those fancy cameras that people want now. Oh, and it is brand new, it appears. The batteries are still like uh, factory wrapped up. Here's the camera cord. Let me get a drink real fast, hold on. I get gabbing away and throat gets dry and I start coughing. Okay, we're back. Pull that out. I don't wanna take this thing out too far. Oh my, yeah, that looks factory packaged in there. So these things are very popular right now. They use for weddings and use for all kinds of things. Polaroid cameras are coming back in style, pretty hardcore. Usually these things, whenever I get these in liquidations, these sell very quickly to subscribers. They hit me up, I mean like that. Once I post the uh, video, it sells pretty quickly. These are getting really popular. This looks actually like a more expensive brand. Let me look this thing up real quick. I'll be right back. I'm kind of curious how much this one actually costs. This thing sells new for actually around $80 to $90 in that range is what it sells new for. So this is actually a more expensive one too. So that's awesome. So I will actually probably try to go on the lower range of $80. But if anybody wants this, I will cut a better deal since it's Christmas time and more than likely this will probably be a gift for somebody in your family. So I'll cut you a better deal on it than what I'm asking at 80. But if it doesn't sell by Christmas, well, I guarantee it will. I mean, I'll, I'll try to get 80 for it, but I'm willing to cut somebody a better deal, somebody who really wants it. Then we've got a 2019 planner. Oh, it's water damaged. The top is a little bit crinkled. Besides that, I mean, it's new, but it got returned because it got water damaged. Probably was left out on somebody's front porch during a rainstorm, like in the Amazon shipping box. Probably the box got rained on, so this got damaged. This will be a great item in my dollar boxes. And then we've got Galaxy Note 8. A uh, little case thing, right? Yeah, a Galaxy Note 8 case. Spigen brand. I can't even think if the Note 8's the newest. I've said this many times. I'm just not up to date on Android technology. I'm just an Apple guy. This thing new? Yeah, this thing is brand new. So it has a case in the back. You can hide your credit card, it looks like. So I guess if you've got a Galaxy Note 8 and you want this case, hit me up. I got a brand new one. I'll do a deal on this thing for like, I guess maybe like $10 shipped or so. That might be a good price on that. I'm not sure. I'm, I, I, I probably is. Lightning car adapter. Oh, just a charger for your car. I actually do not need this whatsoever. So I'll be selling this thing. Honestly, this is probably only a couple bucks. Not much. Let's do the last vinyl record. That's a little bit damaged. Oh, the it's torn a little bit. Okay, Paul Simon. Man, I've gotten this record like four or five times now. This is a highly returned record. And this one's kind of it's damaged. We got tears here, but that's just the cover though who cares about man it's who cares about the cover right the record's in good shape but all the uh records that i have i ooh, this one does have a promo code for a free digital download of this vinyl record though i'm not sure if you can see it but so you'll get a free digital download of the record as long as it hasn't been used though but paul simon 15 dollars shipped but uh it seems like I get a lot of the same records at times. People, but I think most of the ones though are kind of popular though. People buy them and then they return them. How many things we got left? Probably about 10 things left. So, doing pretty well. I'll be keeping this brand new thing of nine volt batteries. 
I don't think I have any 9 volt batteries either. I hardly ever get 9 volt batteries in liquidations. And I keep all my batteries that I get. Because why would I sell batteries when eventually I'm going to need batteries? But I've got enough AA batteries and AAA batteries to last me for probably a lifetime. But I don't, think I don't have any 9 volt batteries. But now I do. Awesome. Then we got iPhone cord. Keep that. Man, what is this heavy thing? That's got weight to it. What's the top say? Folders, 100 pack, assorted colors. Eh, uh, sounds like some office stuff. Folders, 100 of them, assorted colors. This does not sound very fun. Here is somebody's return label. Let's see, I guess if you are Barbara Britton from New York, I've got your return. Go ahead, throw away her return label. So yeah, it's just, it is an entire box of <laughs> colored folders, a whole box. I would probably put that into my shop for like 10 bucks. See if I can move it. Ugh, I don't know about that. Then we got a CD Eco CD slot mount. A what? Oh, huh? A CD slot mount for your phone? That's uh, just a thing. Uh, five, five bucks. Nothing too, too fancy. Not too exciting. A low voltage transformer. That's different. Okay. Newtone low voltage transformer. I'm going to look this thing up because I have absolutely zero knowledge of something like this. I got, I've got no knowledge. I'll be right back. It's like $25. So that's actually good to know. So a low voltage transformer, something that looks like this, something that I have no knowledge on, reselling knowledge, it's about 25 bucks. So the way it sits, I'll probably try to get about 20 bucks for it because the box is a little bit beat up. I mean, it doesn't look used, but I'll try to get about 20 bucks for it. So I always try to learn a little bit, like as I go through these pallets, like I try to learn stuff too, like some, like a, like, like a thing like this, when I have no idea what it sells for, no idea. Like I like to learn stuff too, because the more that I learn, the more knowledge I have for the future. Well, here is just a case for an iPhone XS. Yeah, it's like five bucks. There's no brand on it. There's no name, no nothing. Mystery case. Then we've got another phone case. Looks like another one for a XS. It's got little bumper pads on it that you put on top. Like another $5 case for a XS. And we've got, ooh, looks like a brand new Braun No Touch Forehead Thermometer. That's kind of nifty. Hmm. Any electronics? This is more like pharmaceutical stuff. I guess this, I don't know, this is a little, this is a little different. I mean, it, it is kind of electronics it takes batteries so that's kind of cool though I bet something like this is probably at least maybe maybe $25 or so I mean I, I guess at least so that's that's awesome I'll take it take that in a heartbeat looks brand new next we've got an iPhone X or X 10 and 10s shatterproof screen I'll see Right here is the cover for it, so they've already used at least one of them. Here's all the packaging. Here's where you push it down to get all the bubbles out. Oh yeah, they've, yep, the customer used all the screens. <laughs> they just returned the packaging, got their money back. Yeah. Pretty common customer scam when it goes to that stuff. Two things left. Oh, it did, something did fall. 
this brush that goes with the on the 13 piece trimmer this is what fell out i knew something fell i think it was on my lap maybe or something there it's in it now next we've got a trodat trodat brand i think i'm saying that right trodat different <laughs> it's kind of a funny name yeah it's just a little 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 stamper thing Huh, okay. Do I need something like this for any reason? I don't think so. I don't have anything like this, but I have no reason to keep this, I don't think. Original Trodat Printy Date Stamp. I don't know, how much would that go for? I have no clue, it's just a piece of plastic. It probably breaks the first time you use it also. I'm gonna say eight bucks. I haven't said eight bucks one time in this video yet. Last thing in this box, correct? Yes. We have a Honeywell home portable wireless doorbell with push button. That looks kind of nice. Where's my knife? This might have a little bit of value to it. Let's see, well, what do we have here? I've never sold this thing. Packaging. Nice presentation for packaging. Oh, it does look nice. Look at that. That does actually has very nice presentation for the packaging. See, this thing looks used or new. Oh, that yeah, that's that's never been used. There's not there's no scratches on it, no nothing. There's the button. That's nice. I'm gonna look this thing up because I have zero clue what this thing's worth. I'm guessing maybe like 30, 40 bucks or so. I could be taught. That, that could be high, that could be low. I'll be right back. So it looks like it sells new. I just checked eBay. I still haven't pulled up a Amazon web page. I had to log into my account, all that crap. I haven't done it yet. But on eBay, it sells new for between $35 to $40 new. This is open package item, so it's not you know factory sealed brand new, so I can't sell it as brand new. But it, it appears it's never been installed, so I will actually probably try to charge about 30 bucks for this item. So that's not bad, you know? I will I will take this. I'll take it. I like it. So, that's what we got. That is one box. Got some pretty decent stuff out of it. I mean, I paid 200 and, I wrote it on the box. $217 is what I paid. I'm sure I got way over that back. Just this camera alone's like 80. That so Neo lights, like what I was at, like 100. So just those those two things together, I think almost paid for the entire thing, came very, very close to it. So, yeah. I should get back profit of at least a couple hundred dollars, maybe. So it might be close to a double up, possibly. Maybe, I don't know. I'll know whenever I go through the uh, video, add up everything. So it wasn't bad. This was fun. It was a little bit of a quicker one. So this was a lower price point palette that I bought that all came in one box. So, but it was still fun. We got some cool items out. I mean, we got vinyl records, uh, Fujifilm cameras, wireless doorbells, some lighting, wireless chargers, some health and beauty uh, shaving stuff. I mean, it was a pretty wide assortment of electronic items. It was pretty wide assortment. So Thursday, I haven't decided yet what to do. If my wife feels better, she's been sick for a while, but if she feels better, I'm gonna try to see if she'll do the health and beauty palette over there for Thursday night. But if not, I'll figure out something else that I'll do for Thursday. So stay tuned, big thumbs up if you would. Make sure you take one second, go down below and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you would please. The little bell next to it, make sure you click that also. That will notify you of any and all new videos that I upload to this YouTube channel. Just wanna thank Everybody, one more time, I appreciate everybody who watches me on YouTube and supports me. Thank you very much. I'll see everybody very, very, very soon, and I'm out.